Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows. Today we've got some pretty interesting stories such as Vive being really, really nice. We've got new games coming out. We've got head strap shipments being blocked by Oculus. Rhythm game modding that I know there is a huge community that is going to love. Tracking identity, which is going to blow your mind. And Facebook cloud services. So there's so much to go over. Let's get started. So this one is a really nice story that I am kind of surprised to see, but it is great news for developers. So you may know of Viveport. This is HTC's platform for virtual reality games. They have a subscription service available for it called Viveport Infinity, which allows you to play some amazing titles for a monthly fee, a bit like a Netflix for VR games. So throughout this holiday season from the 1st of November, HTC are going to give developers 100% of the revenue made from application purchases on Viveport. So this started on the 1st of November and is going to last until 2021. What a nice sentiment as we've been going through such tough times and virtual reality developers, many of them are small studios and this is hopefully going to make a big difference for them. I hope this means we could also see a little surge of titles coming to this platform so we have even more games to play over this holiday season because this offer is great, amazing news for existing members and it may be a reason to go and check out what they've got to offer. A controversial game now, Thief Simulator which I have to admit seems really, really fun and appealing, even if it could be training people to rob our own houses. This game is finally leaving early access. The game is considered complete. So you play in this sandbox world where you have to scout the area, look out for the police, pick locked doors, break windows. You have free will in how you approach robbing a house. And the aim is to steal as much loot as you possibly can. The trailer of the game looks awesome. The environments, the interactions, the visuals look really immersive. And the game looks like it has some comedic elements, like trying to steal a huge printer and trying to chuck that over a wall. Suburbia is yours for the taking, literally. So let me know if you'd like to see a gameplay video on this one because I think I can make a super fun video with this. It's happened. Oh, you may have seen reports coming in. It's been covered on the channel and by others regarding the Elite Strap breaking for many, many users. It's cracking. It's snapping. It's not Rice Krispies. It's falling apart after a very short time of use. Facebook have recently decided to stop the shipments of these head straps due to a quality concern. So if you've ordered a head strap, you may have received an email from them and given a choice to cancel the order or to continue continue with your purchase at your own peril. So it was around two weeks ago when these reports started popping up and Facebook did say that they were looking into the problem and I just assumed that they would have ignored this, but it seems something has potentially come up or they've received enough reports to raise a serious concern. So let me know down below if you've received this email or if you've had any problems with your current strap. Facebook did comment on the situation and they had this to say, our teams are working hard to look into the reports we've heard. Though we still believe this is affecting a very small percentage of elite strap access that said, it's important to us that we're always providing our customers with the highest quality experience possible with our products. That is why we've temporarily paused on shipping additional inventory from our distribution centers while we look into this. On to some more fun news now, some great news for Osu fans or for Audica fans. So those that don't know, Osu is a Japanese rhythm game that is just insanity, highly addictive and difficult to master. You have to tap to the beat, follow sliders across the scene. It's just madness. I do recommend checking it out if you like rhythm games. It's great. And Audica is a rhythm game as well that's a virtual reality title where you have to shoot targets to the beat and again very difficult and hard to master. While the Audica modding community have just created an Osu converter tool that will allow you to convert Osu maps to Audica maps so you can access the millions of user created content available via Osu to increase your song library. Do expect many songs to be Japanese inspired as Osu is inspired by that culture but there are some great bangers in it. So thank you October and Zerni the modders of this, I'll leave a link down below to an article that shows you where to get the converter and how to use this tooling. Time to blow your minds or scare you. It's pretty interesting because did you know you have a tracking identity? I didn't. Privacy and virtual reality right now is a big issue. It's a great topic for discussion in this space. We could spend hours doing so. Researchers over at Stanford University have shown that it's possible to identify who you are based on around five minutes of tracking data. So that's you moving around in virtual reality. Based off your movements, you can be identified 
Even if you're in incognito, you've got a different name, a different email address, you can still be known. So they took a pool of 511 people and captured data on them playing virtual reality. And they were able to create a model that had 95% accuracy identifying who you are based off five minutes of temporal data. With this data, they do create a profile on you based on your height, the posture and your head rotation speed, your distance from the virtual reality content that you like to be and how you move. This adds some potential drama in the virtual reality space because Oculus and Vive have a policy that when data is shared, it has to be de-identified, meaning you cannot identify the person from the data that is being shared. Normally, this just meant removing email addresses or people's names, but this goes much, much deeper if the tracking data can be used to identify somebody. This is really potentially quite scary, and I can only imagine how accurate that they can get this when they implement eye tracking and mouth tracking, among other things. So please comment down below how you feel about this one. I found it really, really interesting, and it also kind of shows how impressive AI can be. And if a university is doing this, I can only imagine Imagine what a corporate like Facebook are doing with this data. A little flex now, it's kind of got me excited. There's a cinematic trailer drop for a PC VR game coming at the start of 2021 called Z-Race. This is a fast paced racer that aims to deliver some stunning visuals. And in the trailer, you may have seen some of your favorite YouTubers as they've inspired some of the ship skins available in this game. Yes, I made it. I hope if I win, it does say good day. This game is a futuristic racer that prides itself on its customization and its futuristic maps. A game I don't think newcomers to virtual reality may handle, though hopefully there are plenty of comfort options. And of course, it has a multiplayer feature, which in virtual reality, multiplayer is epic. So this is coming out early 2021. Stay tuned. So let's have some content now around Facebook cloud services. Facebook have just launched their cloud gaming services, and this is a project that is run by Jason Rubin, a former Oculus exec. So Facebook Cloud Gaming doesn't currently support virtual reality, but seeing Facebook have a huge investment in virtual reality, I can imagine this is on the top of their list of things to do. And maybe why they've been shying away from wireless PC VR gaming so they can haymaker us with these cloud services making use of 5G in the Oculus Quest with its new and improved chipsets. Although this is expected to be many, many years off, so perhaps the Oculus Quest 3. Mark Zuckerberg said this in regards to virtual reality and this cloud platform. So over the long term, I think the VR piece will obviously come into our gaming strategy. Some of the cloud gaming stuff that we're doing, of course, would be useful for virtual reality as well. And we're building a big community around that on Oculus. But our cloud gaming service, I do think this will be a very exciting growth opportunity and provide us the ability to offer a lot of innovation over the coming years. So this is coming apparently. So virtual reality is something they want to provide on their cloud services so we can play some high-end games on our Oculus Quest, but they're a long way off. They need to reduce latency big time in order for this to be truly viable and meet their high standards that they seem to want on their Oculus Quest platform. I did do some further reading and they did say to expect this to be around five years off, so a long way away, but I look forward to that day. A new game coming to the Oculus Quest now, one that I think that will put a smile upon your face. Prison Boss is coming to the Quest on December 3rd. This game was originally released in 2017, but virtual reality was in its infancy then. So this is a game that many people would not have tried. In game, you have to complete a bunch of objectives for your prison inmates without being caught by the warden and the guards that are paroling the perimeter. This means you have to be on the lookout and stash items that you're constructing just at the right time so you don't get caught. And as you progress, you can customize your cell and become the prison boss, hence the name. A fun, larger than life experience that I'm sure will be a great fit on the Oculus Quest system. So that's it from me today, guys. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, getting caught up on the latest and greatest in the virtual reality space. Please subscribe to the channel, join the Quest giveaway. Thanks to my patrons, you absolute legends. And remember, happy gaming, guys. Good day.